I, I mentioned in the chat, but I'm on my new setup with my new laptop now. So hopefully there's all the tech stuff is nice and smooth. Right. This is a new, a new era. Yeah. Yeah. Rescue mission day three. Uh? Welcome back to Bros in a Landfill. Um, so, here we um, are with our dog. Uh, yeah, so, so off camera, we decided that we're just not going to care about the dialogue anymore because that that stuff is jank. It's just so much labor, you know. I, I, I know I'm not like, getting paid the the voice acting big bucks for this. You know what I mean? Yeah, this isn't Smack Studio. Exactly. Honey. Well, I mean, in Smack Studio, I recorded like five Hello. numbers. And like two words. <laughs> the ball. Wait, no, that's not true. Well, now I now uh, with well, the recent update, now I can say time. So nice. That's, sick. that's, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. Dude, we gotta you. do some more Smack Studio at some point. That stuff's fun, and I've got a better laptop to play it on. So. Oh, true, true, true. And we got some new characters too since the last time we played. Oh, I mean the Steam Workshop is going crazy lately. It's getting Copy like. Out. So there's a few developments that I'm really happy about. First of all, there's one guy who who really likes to make dinosaurs, and like they post about their dinosaur character on the on the Discord and just like post like dinosaur facts along with it. I'm like, this is great. Yo, there's someone else. That's who, incredible. There's someone else who just makes like crustaceans or or, or what? I think that's the term. Uh, so far, they have a a a a lobster and a hermit crab. Someone else made a yeti crab. Uh, there's Sheep Steve, which is just epic. Um, someone made Negative One as a character. Uh-huh. Uh, and Thanks. lastly, if I can just find it, my favorite of this of this batch of slightly surreal characters, Carbon Graphite GE Profile All-in-One Washer Slash Dryer. Excuse, uh, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to fully explain this. Uh, it's a dryer and or a slash washer. It's just like the the door opens and whacks you. Uh, <laughs> it can teleport and body slam. Uh, shoots out flaming pieces of clothing. It, it it does it all. That's incredible. So that's a playable character in this game now. I can't believe this game has a fucking crafting system now. All oh, right, I forgot about the game we're actually playing. This is incredible. Honestly, crafting seems like a logical thing to put in this. Yeah. Because it's all about running around the, the, picking up bits and bobs. Oh god, it's teaching me how to use that, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have any real items on me. I don't think. Surely they'll give us a, a little treat. Wow, it's making us literally watch through a video. Um, uh, I got a train, oh, actually. His pup drive. His pup drive. Oh, boy. Oh, we got okay. skills to learn? We're going to be in tutorial, like, until the game's over. Yeah, this is, this is scary. Like, this is a strange amount of hours we had. It's still be, like, every step is learning. Okay, so we can learn. Yeah. Can heal. So the good boy can heal now. Um, okay, I can. It takes one to level up his buff, so that's cool. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we're we're making progress. We're we're, we're getting bigger. We're getting stonk. We're getting stonks. <gasps> Yummy bones. Let's freaking go. I I've been um trying to level up my buff lately. I, I've been going oh. to the gym a little more. Uh, I don't think I it will do anything, though. I, I've been told that not only do I need to um, work out, I have to eat stuff. Apparently, I need to eat high-protein situations and not just 80 fucking tons of bread. Um, so this sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah bre bread's kind of bad for you, not going to lie. That, that's a classic um, Scott Pilgrim bit. Oh wow, man! It's from the movie. I mean, it's been it's been a long time since I've seen the movie. I haven't read the the comic books or anything. Um, need to play the video game at some point. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, it's coming on Netflix. But oh, nice. 
So I, I gotta, I, I gotta clean out my act, man. I gotta eat, I gotta eat beefs. I gotta eat eggs and whatnot. Um, because mm -hmm. so far all I'm getting is, uh, is positive mental health endorphins, and like, I'm, I'm too vain for that. I, I, I need to. Damn. I need to become physically epic. Well, so I'm also I, I, kind I of thinking I, like this is a good idea just because like I am I am in the the latter part of my 20s now and I'm like I should probably prepare for my metabolism to slow down. So I should probably well, like have a, a habit of doing things with my body. I mean it doesn't help that both of us kind of have bum jobs as well. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. I ain't got a lift shit Man, I, other than my drawing pen. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, the only thing I got to lift is my uh, company um, laptop. And sometimes my ass out of my couch to go to the toilet. Sometimes. Sometimes. But I forget my diaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sun Speckled Terrace. I, I don't know what it's like to be Sun Speckled because I have a bum job. <laughs> now, um, you've got more color to your skin than me. I'm pasty white. Mm, but I'm, Over not, here. I'm not speckled by the sun. I'm just I come pre-speckled. Ah, uh, is is that from that um? Is it from the laptop spots? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I like my parents speckled me at the beginning. Nice. So like, I don't know. I think I could get pretty dang brown if I went outside more. But that's that's not gonna happen. Probably. Yeah. But why, why go outside when you can just lift while you draw? Yeah, I'll just put... You should, like... You should put... I'll get a like really heavy your... pen. Yeah, well, yeah, I was gonna say, like, like tie, like, your... Tie, like, a pen to your... Like, well, a, a weight to your pen. I, I, I see no way this could go wrong. Um, Think I of how like strong I figured... my wrists will get. I... Oh yeah, I think I, f I remember how I was supposed to do that. Okay, let me get some ice, guys. Um, oh, look at them. I think I can get these guys too. Now that we're liberated from dialogue, this is now just a lovely hangout game. Yeah, dude. Did he just shut off there? I think so. Um, <laughs> these guys um, don't want to go up here. I th do I have to? Yeah, that's weird. Maybe that kind of Pikmin. Look at <laughs> look at their shape. They're so good. I better not lose Oachi. Oh, Oachi just like killed that thing for me. See, I kind of figured his name was Ochi. Oh yeah, I think it's a, I think it's Zimtochi or something. I, I, I mean, I'm just gonna pronounce it wrong regardless. This entire like, as long as we play well, this. Well, it's their fault for not putting voice acting in this game, you know. True. If they want us to pronounce their shit right, then you know, they should tell us what it is. Um, tablet. Okay, my tablet said something new. I wanted to see. Uh, I feel what's like going I've, on. I feel like I've mentioned this in the past, but like, it's always like driven me crazy how um how people pronounce the like words from Zelda sometimes because like it's not always the way that I pronounced it growing up because hmm. Ocarina of Time did not have fucking voice acting either um so anytime I hear someone say Kokiri to uh describe the forest that Link grows up in and like the person he is it drives me nuts because I always read that oh, as I'm, 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 uh... oh god yeah no I believe it I feel that I uh, I always um, I always read it as Kokiri, uh, cause that, cause it kind of looks vaguely like it could be a, a Maori word. Um, oh. So like that, like I, I kind of read it more like those are the the sounds and vowels or whatever, Kokiri, but um, no. And and so it's like it's weird because like and part of me feels as if like the sacred forest is being like whitewashed and it's like no these are literally like fucking white elves <laughs> who live here it's probably not the way i think it is 
But then again, I'd be curious as to how the uh, the Japanese um, pronounce it, because I would imagine it's closer to uh, closer to how I do, because Maori and Japanese, um, their sounds are not too different. Hmm. A oh, sweet electric gate was demolished. Yeah. No, so okay, give me give me give me some um, loader. Like so so what what does it sound like? What what's it sound like in um, Maori? Well, I'm I'm saying. Uh, what's what's the word? Yeah. What is a word? Well, so you're saying it sounds like a word in Maori, like like does oh. it sound like a specific word or just no, no. I, I'm saying like the when I look at the letters in that configuration, like it feels more like a Maori word than a than oh. like like my oh, brain okay, just okay. wants to apply the Maori sounds to it. Is what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That makes a lot of sense to me. Mm. If like, if it was a Maori word, what do you think it mean? I got no fucking idea. I, I I'm really like. I'm very not particularly knowledgeable about my own, um, you know, the language of my own heritage. I've been learning very simple things about it recently that I didn't know, that I feel like I should have known later. I learned that when you got a little, like, line above one of the letters, it means you elongate the sound. Mm. So, like, the word Maori, like, the there's a, a line over the A, I think. Um, so I, sh I should probably be trying to keep that in mind more. I swear this doesn't go as fast as you think it should go. Well, that's because it's like covered in little bugs now. <laughs> what the crap is that thing? I got no idea. That is objectively terrifying. This Ochi would be way better if he made um, banjo kazooie kazooie sounds. Like when you walk around. Yes, I agree. Sorry, I'm in a very Nintendo 64 mood today. For I don't know where that came from. We're playing like the future of, of Nintendo, not the past. Nintendo's future past. Hmm. I mean, Nintendo is always a very like kind of, I mean, all of its main games are like if you buy Nintendo games, you're, you're uh, Nintendo consoles, you're, you're generally doing it for, like, their legacy franchises. Um, and so it's interesting how just sort of by nature it's kind of a nostalgic based company. Like, I wonder if nostalgic people are, are sort of drawn to Nintendo, or if Nintendo creates nostalgic driven people. Um, cause, like, I, I believe it. I've realized that I'm a lot more attached to, like, uh, things I've previously liked and, and franchises and stuff than um, some of my friends. Uh, which I, th I just think is interesting. Um, I definitely kind of feel what you're talking about. Like, there, there is something, like, kind of, like, about Nintendo that hits different. Because, hmm. like, I don't know, if you're into Nintendo games, you've probably been into them forever. Or m maybe that's, um... Or, or if you're a recent Nintendo fan, I feel like you'll probably hold that with you going forwards. But maybe that's just my own experience. Yeah. Who knows? But I know that not everyone has such a, um, you know, strong relationship to the, the things they liked when they were kids. Um, but I definitely do. Yeah, no, I, I would definitely say that there's something about Nintendo that just hits a bit different. Um, I think, I, I guess maybe it's because, like, there's some level of consistent quality um, over time that maybe other um, companies haven't necessarily been able to maintain. No, actually, I, I say that I think probably the bigger thing is um, how strong Nintendo has been with its first party stuff um, consistently. Because like even like even like when I think about like Sony or Microsoft, like Microsoft, like the only thing I can really think of as an identity thing is Xbox. Hmm. Uh, oh, Xbox is um is um crap. What was it? Halo. Yeah. Like, like when you think like like, like what other like really f real franchises from X from Microsoft and Xbox like do you just associate? Yeah, that's it's one like, thing. Like all the Nintendo kind of games like feel like they are part of the same thing, um, the same family or something 
Um, so yeah. I would kind of share that legacy together. But I, I think another thing is that, like, how many game franchises have been, like, even going on as long as Nintendo games? Like, well, yeah, well, well, I think that's the other thing too. Like, it not only do they do they have such strong like first party um, identity with their properties, but like they've been around forever. They're not reinventing the wheel every. Well, just also the, week like just or... again like they're there at all. Like, um, I've been thinking yeah. recently about um like I love. Mass Effect, right? I, like I got, it's like kind of a formative game for me because I played it in my early teens. Big part of how I became, uh, like, my, my growing friendship with, with Sailor at the time. And it's like, you know, a little while ago, a year or two ago, they revealed that they're gonna make another Mass Effect game. Or they want to. Um, they had like a little teaser trailer. But like, the if their next Dragon Age game doesn't hit, there's a chance that Bioware might just cease to exist. And then, like, Mass yeah. Effect will be gone. And, and that Mass Effect 4 will never come out. And it's like, wow, like, I really just sort of took for granted that, like, there will just always be more of these. But there might not be. I mean, a lot of franchises, most franchises, don't last very long. But Mario's been going on for, like, you know, 35 years or something like that. And, like, consistently. That's... Never went away. That's kind of terrifying when you think about it. Uh, what is? Oh, just like franchise is going away. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. It was kind of like interesting. Wow, like, it, and that's fine. Like, not everyone's a lot lost forever, but like, I guess a lot of the things I ended up gravitating towards are, are things that, um, have continued to exist. Yeah. So I think video games are cool. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so I feel like I, I'm like having all these like introspective thoughts, and you're like trying to like parent 800 children at once and a dog, <laughs> and you're like, uh, yeah, uh huh, right. uh huh. It's okay. I'll handle like the kind of existential musings, and, and you can handle no, all these no, no. fucking fuckos. That's what you're here for. That's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, so this is how this works. So you send Pikmin to go grab. Oh, okay. That's a bit weird. Yeah, there, there should have been a five minute conversation about how this works so that we wouldn't get confused. Yes, I agree. Uh, another Nintendo L. <laughs> <laughs> What can I do in the meantime? Because this is a game where you kind of want to... These games you want to multitask. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you, you're having a conversation with me. That's something else you're doing. Yeah. Oh, I can probably build that bridge too. Do I... Okay. Nice. It's stripey. Um, I've been playing the new Sonic oh, Superstars. God. Of course you are. <laughs> Look, man, I'm. I, I kind of want to play that. For I'm. I'm obligated. Yeah, I think I kind of want to play that for the show one of these days. I got it on my wish list. Uh, wish yeah. list. I mean, we did Mania, so it's a. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. I, I, I'm really liking it. I want. I'm actually not sure. Yeah. Can you do the co-op online? Um, I don't know. Because I. Nor do I fun. know if my, in online is good enough to. True. True. Across the across the ocean. Yeah, but, but I'd like to play Origins for the show as well, mm -hmm. since it's I've never I never beat the old games. Oh yeah, well now you can play them basically without lives, so like and it, yeah, it makes it way easier. Yeah, I, I hadn't beaten most of the classics. Um, I had beaten only three in CD, but one and two because they don't really let you save. I was like, this is way too hard. But uh, yeah, they're uh, they're pretty cool games. Oh, this this is pretty cool. This is a fucking po oh uh, it's a Halloween episode. Ooh, ooh, boop, 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 boop. Spooky, scary skeletons. Why did we decide that pumpkins uh, are scary anyway? Like, I don't know. Like, what do you think about uh, it? It's like that's just like a, a random food. Oh, uh, that's fucking uh, Oliver's dog. Whoa, what the hell is that? I'm 
unsure. Oh my god. Is that Olimar? Did he like become a furry? Uh, please, let's 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 imagine he doesn't. Like, let's imagine he hasn't become a furry because, um, these things. I'm pretty sure the the the, the, the he's already not human as is. Like, that has to be him because it's with the oh, dog. Oh crap! I need a. And it looked like the same I need, uniform. I need to finish this unfinished job. Dude. Uh, I cannot believe the intrigue I am undergoing right now. This is the most intense on Pikmin's ever been. <laughs> Holy shit, is that the guy we're looking for? Hang on, I gotta pick up this pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. We gotta eat. Rescue oh, the my, oh, so my Pikmin... My Pikmin can't join me, okay. Wow. Bye. Oh, we're getting a story justification. Oh no, we're not. The, okay. Just, just an acknowledgement. They're terrified. They're utterly terrified of what we're about to do. Yeah, I mean, they just saw an abomination. A trial run. Dude, this is only level one Dandori. Oh god. Well, I think it's like fire. Um. Yeah. Well, maybe you're right. Uh, I don't think I live a very Dandori life. No, me neither. Oh no, he's eating that human in that onion plant. Holy shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, this is this has gone in The the LGBT agenda has gone too far. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Don't get us You know what? Feel free. They're pickmitting our children! We, we 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 look, we we need the um we need the um We need the views, uh, yeah. Yeah, we need the views, but more so we need the in engagement and interaction in the comments. This is a great quote. You, skin having one, do you also believe you do not need the leaves? Oh, so these aren't furries, these are leavies. These are typical leftists is what they are, man. Yeah. I, I'm, 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 I'm holding back some, some real spice. I mean, they literally put co-op mode in here, what the fuck? You can't let that- They, they put like, they, they put the versus mode in here, this is crazy. Oh shit. Rival I can't I can't believe I, I can't believe Nintendo is um so ab uh, abashed like what's the word um unabashedly um clowning on the leftists <laughs> Nintendo this just in Nintendo clowns on the left Dan Dory is is leftist propaganda Actually I would argue Dandori is more of a right-leaning concept. <laughs> it's true. Explain. Uh, well, like, Dandori, man, it's all about, like, being efficient and, and looking after yourself. Um, and that's, that's, mm. that's what the, the right value. Okay, okay. I, I, they, they value I, 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 personal I, I, responsibility I, I, and, and a conscientious life. I follow this logic. Um, this is... <laughs> why did I, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this show like this? I don't know what that implies about the, uh, about that furry now. I guess I shouldn't have judged a book by its cover. He's a good sport, too. Yep. I like just everyone just understands, like, the, the universal language of Dan Dory Duel. Like, whatever these fucking alien is, it's like, yeah, like, we all play Dandori. It's when you get, like, all 20 of your Pikmin to run around and, like, put fruits in the middle of a table. Imagine how different, um, world history would have turned out if this was the preferred way of doing duels. Yeah, I'm down for it. Ima imagine if... Aaron Burr and Alexander Hamilton had, had engaged in a Dandori battle instead of a fucking gun duel. How different history would be. Because I think Alexander Hamilton would, would beat him at a, at a Dandori battle. You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, geez, like, they just, they, You know what I'm saying? They just fucking. St yeah, no, I, I feel you. That, that asshole just, like, stole my.
Well, look, man, that's this is this is what the right do, you know? They uh, they, they steal your work and 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 uh, claim it's theirs. Yep, yeah, sounds about right. You're getting your your labor um, swallowed up. Shit, one minute left. I'm running out of meaningless political discourse to inject into this battle. Very cool. <laughs> I'm so like y again, you're like in the middle of a neck and neck fucking fight that looks like. Dude, they're gonna run away with the loss. Oh my god. No! God, this is. I can get the scold. I can get the scold. I don't know. That looks heavy. Oh, dude. One piece at a time. Let's go. Oh, okay, you totally got this in the bag. Oh god, it takes a while to absorb. Oh, okay, yeah, you got it. You you've you have owned him with that gold. You may as well just let go of the controller. Yeah, sounds about right. These damn Dory battles are absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I could tell like Bread one. Bread. I, I mean, I was throwing all these spicy meatballs out, and you were like, "I have to focus on Dandori," you know. So yeah, like, I'm, 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 I can't, I'm, I can't believe just how much gameplay they put in this. It's horrifying. <laughs> this isn't a baby game anymore. I can't wait for the twist reveal that that is Almar at the end, or it's Almar's it's, evil twin. It has, it has boy. to be him. Or like it has, it has to be to. like him. He he's being like uh, turned. He's watched too much. Leafy is here. Yeah, yeah. That I <laughs> I'm assuming that's what Leafy is here is like. <laughs> Leafy is here is probably my favorite Dan Dory channel on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god, man. man. Man, when um when when Idubs made that content is um content on um that 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 then Dory Champ Leafy is here, I was like, whoa. Yeah, dude. That was a seminal moment. Man. He apologized yeah, for when, uh, he apologized for how much Dan Dory he partook in, in his earlier career. Yeah. Take takes a lot of um gumption to um speak the truth about Dan Dory battles. Mm-mm. -hmm. And you know what, like, he, the, the people didn't, like, he wasn't forced into it, you know, like, he didn't have to get counseled or anything, he was just like, hey, like, I'm just coming out, um, I feel like I've grown as a person, and I, I'm not about Dandori anymore. I'm about yeah. just chilling and vibing. Yeah, as we all should be. Hmm. What the heck? Man, we're, we're, we're getting some actual plot here. Hmm. All of our friends uh, are like. Actually, I wanna. You know, now they've got dyed hair and stuff, and like, and we don't know what they're what they're called anymore. Um. So, what I, I would really like to, if the, the ride actually made you go faster, but it doesn't. Yeah, but it's cute. Hey, okay, you got me there. I like cute things. I want to see if I can build this bridge. I believe you can do it. If you just throw enough little guys at it, then uh, it'll be done in no time. Yeah. Uh, Watching them carry those little rocks like makes me want to eat cereal that's bad for me. Yeah. I imagine at some point I'll get the jump and I'll be able to jump up there. It would be nice if we weren't thwarted by like a, a, a small incline. Yeah. It's really unfortunate. Okay, there's a... Oh, this is the base back to the start. Okay. Oh, now it's all coming together. But I still can't get up here because I can't... Properly, <laughs> properly do. Dude, or, or, that's so steep. To get there. You need to like reassess your expectations on something that can be climbed up. That was like an unimaginably like, fucking vertical and eight mile tall 
platform. I feel, uh, man, uh, oh, God. my day is coming to an end and I have no clue idea of where I'm supposed to be going. Actually, I should probably, I've got a map. Yeah, that's right. Okay, discovered caves. All right, where's home? Like, okay, so home's over here. Okay, so this is the, there's an area over here I haven't got to. Um, but I can't really get over there yet until, but um, I can't get up there, but there's so Can much take for a look us over... to do in this game. <sighs> it's amazing what a good footstep sound can do. Yeah. Oh no, definitely. Uh, I don't have any straight Pikmin, I'm okay. Am I going? Okay, so there's a blue onion bulb up there. I need to get up there to get to the water Pikmin. Um, I beat that trial run. Got finished that cave. There's still treasure in there, but I couldn't find that last treasure, but that doesn't matter too much what's over here life will be okay you know um i could i haven't investigated oh if i a sec so it's saying that i haven't investigated over here i don't need to take these back yet No straight Great, no pick. Straight pick. About. Okay. Oh, you can press a button to end today's exploration? Yeah. Let's just so, around home. Can I? Dude, I can't believe you're like... Oh, no! Oh, the red ones don't got to worry about the flames. Oh, God. I got all my all my guys. Okay, but like so. Uh, okay. Quick, press. As long as minus. Uh, oh, I can uh, rewind and, time. Okay. And there's end day. Yeah, I just I, I just want to get I just want to get my um, as I can wait till. That's when I get my bearings. So there's that thing up there. Where am I compared to the base? Okay, so the base is up here. So next time we play, I need to come back up here get that treasure. But that doesn't really answer what I need to do. <sighs> um. Because I, I finished. Oh, wait. Okay, I gotta figure out a way up there. I see. Don't know how. We gotta figure out a way up here. Don't know how. I mean, I might, I might get the jump. I might have unlocked the jump from that. Um, I might be able to get up this way. Oh, wait. Does this loop. No, I think there's a. I might be able to loop around up there. I'll need to take a look. There's, there's, there's places we can investigate next time. But. That's a, that's a day, man. Out. That's a day of, uh, of Pikmining over. I thought that we had to, like, go home yeah. or else we got eaten by animals and stuff. Oh, okay, it just takes... Oh, okay. No. It just takes... Either all of your Pik... It puts a safe spot around the Pikmin there so you can have them finish carrying things back without you needing to have them in your party. Okay. But otherwise it's like... Yeah. This is a safe and lovely and sweet game. Very safe, very lovely. Well, that was just like full episode of just uninterrupted gameplay for the most part. Nobody said a word. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I said a lot of words. Well, yeah, but you're not a game character, so that's so cool beans. That's true. Well, I'm not a game character. I haven't, I haven't been like plugged into the Matrix yet. Not yet. I like this music. Like this does feel like very nice, like end of day, uh, space. Yeah, it's it, it brings back lots of, it, it brings back lots of feeling of nostalgia, because it's that say I don't know if it's the same t track or just sounds similar to like the older games. Well, it has kind of like a there's a bittersweet quality to it. I feel like yeah, 
sleepy bittersweet quality. <laughs> Nintendo always slapping with their tracks. Yeah. No, they 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 always hit. The new Sonic game has like half of a good soundtrack. Like half of it's great, <laughs> and then half of it is like, okay. There's like two guy. There's like two main composers on it, I believe, and like, I think one of them is just kind of kicking the other guy's ass, to be honest. Damn. Uh, maybe maybe that maybe that's the point. Maybe the, like the ones like I'm I'm just gonna step like just make not as good tracks so you can shine. Wow, what a what a um, what a nice guy. Uh, well, I guess this has been Bros in a Landfill, and we'll catch you next time. I guess. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Sweet dreams. Have a nice morning. Please don't take anything I said during the Dandori segment uh, seriously. As, except the part where he's clowning on the left for their... Uh, no, wait! Wait! Left. Wait!